Most people don't realize that using shortcut keys isn't just about editing faster. When you trim the fat, trim. <laughs> when you trim out the unnecessary scrolling to click on a tool or effect or a window, and you can just hit one key, it allows that stored up energy that you would have used for that task to be spent on being creative. Or, in most of your cases who are watching this video, it simplifies things so learning a new editing program such as DaVinci isn't as hard. So in this video, I'm going to reveal to you the most important short keys that will not only help you get a firmer grip on DaVinci, but will also increase your edit times by at least double. But also, I got a gift for you guys, so make sure you stick around until the end. Now ironically, your favorite shortcut key is going to be the one that tells you what your other shortcuts do. That's going to be... Command Option K, uh, which is going to open up your shortcut customization page. Now, if for some weird reason you want to manually pull it up, go up to DaVinci Resolve and then down to keyboard customization again. If you, for some reason, just want to be a slob. Here, you can not only look up what a specific key does, but you can even customize and assign the keys that you want to do whatever specific features you want them to be assigned to do. Everybody has their own preferences when it comes to editing, which is why this is super, super great. You can either go through and learn DaVinci's default shortcut setup or you can go up to the right to this down arrow where you have shortcut key presets. And as you see, this is pretty dope because they have a Premiere preset and they have a Final Cut preset. So if you've been using the default presets in Premiere, then you don't even have to learn a new set of keys. But if you're like me, the short key with the cowboy hat, then you customize your presets in Adobe. So that's not really gonna help you much here. If that is you, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to customize each individual key to whatever feature you want it to be. The default for the blade tool for cutting clips is B. But let's say that you want to change this to you. So we'll go into the search window and type in blade. We'll delete B and then type U. Uh oh. Now if this pops up, what it's telling you is that the key you're wanting to use is currently being used for another feature, which is super easy to fix. If you're dead set on using it for that feature that you're wanting, you can hit that key on the keyboard, which is going to bring up the command on the active key side. Click on it and it'll show off to the right. You can now X that out so it's no longer being used for that feature. Type in blade again. And now set it to you. So once you're done, hit save. And what it's gonna do is it's not gonna change resolves preset. It's actually gonna create your own personal one. So if you already have a set of shortcuts in mind, then you can make all of your changes and then save it. But if not, then don't fear. Cause remember, I mentioned I had a surprise for you. As a Premiere user, I believe I've set up possibly the best shortcut key preset that's super easy to get accustomed to. So I've added a link to it and in the description and it's completely free. You heard me, I'm not charging y'all even though I should be texting y'all all that crap y'all be talking in the comments. But I'm also going to really quickly run through them with you so you'll be ready to go before even hitting the download button. All right, so if you saw my previous video, A is the select cursor tool and B is the blade tool to cut your clips. But an even quicker method are the trim tools and split clip tool, which you can set to whatever you want it to be. But for me, what made the most sense is for trim start, which takes out everything in the beginning to be Q, split to be W, and to trim the end to be E. So you can go through your clips in the timeline and never have to drag your mouse over and cut a clip. Just use W when you get to a place you want the clip to start and when you reach the end, hit E to take off the end if you're not using the rest of the clip. Or if you're not as comfortable using those two, just use W to cut in the middle and then hit delete on what you're not wanting to use. Now let's say you're the kind of editor that likes to cut your clips in the view window and then add it to the timeline. You can use the mark in and the mark out keys and a pin to the end. So at the beginning of the clip, hit I to mark in, and then O at the end of the clip. You could drag this clip onto the timeline, but instead of doing that, hit the comma key, and that will snap the selected section to the end of the timeline. If you wanna change the speed of a clip, you can select the clip and then hit R, and then change the speed values. If you want to link or unlink video and audio, simply hit the L key. Scrolling up to this roller to shrink and expand your timeline is super annoying. So a shortcut to doing that is to hold the option key and scroll left or right. And of course, if you're using a mouse, it'll be up and down. But every now and then you'll want to fill your screen with your video to view what you've done so far. And the shortcut for that is Command F. And then if you want to take it back down, just hit Command F again, or you can hit the escape button. Now there are several more shortcut keys, but these are the ones that I found most important concerning my workflow. If there's a few things that you need to add, then remember just hit that command option K and then you can set any key to any feature that you need and you will be pretty much good to go, almost. There are a few features that don't have shortcut keys that you do need to be able to access. You wanna know about those? Click this link right here. 